What's up everybody and welcome back to Westland Survival. So the update I was talking about in the video yesterday has just come out. Actually I'm not sure when that video will have come out but anyway update has just come out that has added in the bandits attack so let me see if I can find the patch notes quickly for you. No bounties available. So the patch notes. What's new? We have prepared something new. Bandits attack. By killing members of the gang, you increase the bandits' anger. As soon as the anger reaches the maximum, your ranch will be attacked. Defend your ranch and all the supplies, or prepare silver coins to buy your way out. New event. Bandit stash. You have to find the location of bandits' loot stash if you're going to hit back. New buildings. Now you can build up the ranch with iron stakes, traps, or sandbags. Destroyed furniture. For example, a foundry can be repaired. You just need a few seconds. And we have adjusted a spirit code rewards, so you're getting better loot back from there. And there's also been a few bug fixes, so they've picked a problem where events would show up in the same location on the global map. Fix a bug with the smuggler's marker on the minimap in the northern area. Fix the canyon trials issue where some players could get stuck there, and they fixed a bug with the text display in the bug report window. So they picked, a, they fixed a bug with the bug report. Right then, so. There's quite a bit in this update, however, the main thing I'm happy about is if we scroll down here, look how cool the barbed wire looks. This is what I've wanted in Last Dinner for so long, we can make our own little fences, so I'm going to be making a load of them. Unfortunately I haven't got many nails, but yeah, we will be making them, however, first up, I think I'm finally going to make, what is it that I want, I want to get myself a gunsmith table. Boom, and a repair bench as well. So I am well behind everybody else in that it's taken me a long time to get these bits crafted. But I'm thinking, let's have them in this new little area here. And oh wow, I did not realize how big that was. Hmm, requires wooden floor for placement. Okay, so I might have to place it up in there. So what is it, two by? one I'm thinking. Okay, we can do that. Let's move this little box and this little box. Move it to there. And this little box. And this one. Right, let's place this down. Rotate it. Can it go further forwards? No, I think it does actually take up four spaces. Yeah, it does. That's strange. Let's go and have a look at our new benches. So, here we go, we've got our gunsmith table, so we can make a grindstone, we can make weapon parts. Hmm. I am a complete noob at this. So is it that we need, that we can recycle the Winchester to make weapon parts? And let's grab a gun quickly and we'll stick it in there and see what happens. Uh, Let's get a pepper box. No, my luck, this is going to be the only gun that's not actually on there. Like the zip gun. Yep, I was right, the pepper box is not on there. It is literally the zip gun of Westland. Um, let's get that nice little gun. This is our Colt, is it? Oh no, it's the Remington. So what happens when we stick the Remington in? Yeah, so a Remington will turn itself into one single weapon part. Okie dokie. And if you get your improved foundry, using the manufacturer, so it's one thing that a lot of people don't actually know about this game. You can straight up make guns in Westland, which is something you can't do in a lot of these other games. You can make the weapon alloy ingot. But there we go. So we can now get weapon parts from our weapons that are almost broken. And what was the other one we made? Come on, what do you do? You are the repair bench, okay. Hmm, I cannot for the life of me. Okay, so this here is listing all the different things we can repair. So we could put, no? That's weird. So we should be able to put our Remington in there with one oak, two steel, two weapon parts and repair it. Hmm. But I think mostly what I'm going to be repairing is my warrior tomahawk, because that is such a good weapon. 
Right. I think we should stop talking about all this stuff now and see if we can possibly make some of the new things in the game. Let's drop all these bits off. So we want to make the barbed wire. Here it is. So we need wire, nails, and pine boards. Now, I have absolutely no idea how much of this stuff I've got. I think, yeah, nails are going to be my main issue. Hmm. I know I've got a ton of pine somewhere. There we go. Yeah, it just looks like nails. Hmm. Because I think I accidentally delete, well not deleted, but when my account rolled back, I did lose my weapons table, not weapons table, my um, workbench. Right, let's just go over here and grab some wires quickly and we'll make our first, at least two, sets of barbed wire. There's chains, lamps, there's some barbed wire, well, just wire at the moment, not yet barbed. So I am going to need to move all of these out before we anger. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, it's just nails that have let us down. Ah. Uh, ooh, have we got any nails in our inbox? Because I know I've got a load of random things. So if we've got any nails in here, that would be incredible. Better guns. Armor, 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 armor. Not looking good, is it? Nails, please? Please? No, haven't got any nails at all. Oh, and currently there is a sale left for another four hours, so you can buy, you get three items instead of one, so you get three guns if you buy that, great. That's the sort of discount things I would like to see done in Last Dead Earth. So yeah, two items instead of one. So the pack is cheaper, and you actually get other bits from it. Well, pack's not cheap, you just get them three for one. Right, let's place some of our barbed wire. Oh, it looks so cool. So what we could do, in theory, is just make a massive loop of this barbed wire all the way around, like quite far away from the edges, and then fill the inside with things like sandbags. Right, that's for now. Let's put them like that. So... We are going to need a lot of resources to do these. Okay. So you also slow down. Of course you slow down. You're getting caught on the barbs. Ah. I like that. Right. Let's see if we can go and anger some of these pesky bandits. Where's my new storage? These boxes up here? Ooh, nails. Not enough, though. Not enough. None still. And none. Okay. Right, let's head out and see if we can find some bandits to kill. Probably gonna change my armor a little bit. And I might as well leave that armor on. I'll just change a weapon to a basic knife. That'll do nicely. Right then. Let's go hunting. Right, so on our main map, as we can now see, we've got this flare here. The bandit's anger. By killing members of the bandit's gang, you increase the bandit's anger. As soon as the anger reaches the maximum, your ranch will be attacked. Now, what we want to do is find out how quickly we can make that happen. So this is three out of four skulls. That's three out of four. Now, I'm thinking probably the winter zone is four. No? Hmm. That's strange. Soul Cave, are you four? Uh, spirit Cave, my bad. Yeah, Spirit Cave's four skull location. Right, let's just uh, run straight over there. There's not a fast enough way to get stuff in this game at the moment. Wheat, not wheat. Um, horses, my brain has just completely died. So the devs have also said that they are looking at ways to make it cheaper to travel across the map, possibly decreasing the energy cost, because everything is pretty far away. And there's, at the moment, so much to do on the map. Which I love, by the way. I love the ability to just go out and farm loads of meat. That is something I love in this game. And one of the changes they made in the previous update is they have actually doubled the health of all enemies. And decreased it for... Decreased it? Increased it for yourself as well. Now, so we're out here just looking for bandits. 
Now, what I want to know is, are the bandits just going to be... Oh, there we go. That tramp had the icon. So does he. Ah, uh, maybe then, every single enemy we kill is going to help count towards it. So let's have a look. Yeah, you can see it's filled up a tiny little bit in the bottom. Somebody is watching me. Somebody's watching me. I don't know, I cannot do a nice Texan cowboy draw. No, don't drop it all. Also, I love the fact that this game has a drop all button. It got that ages ago, and it is one of the best buttons in the game. Oh, sorry, Coyote. Weird that you didn't drop me any meat, though. Hey, tramp. Okay, our knife was broken. But because in this game you can pump stats, pump level points into damage, you don't actually need to have your weapon on you at all times, provided you're not taking on really hard to kill enemies. I see it. If we look at our little bandits bit there, does that pop up for you? No, it doesn't. Okay, let's take all that. Ooh, some glycerol. So you can see a tiny little red bit has started to fill in the bottom. So yeah, our punch does 78 damage. This really is just easy mode last day on Earth, and I love it. 100%. Because it is nice to play a game that's not such a massive grind. Oh. Alex Killer 917 thank you for subscribing. Did not realise it was set up like that. No, uh, this isn't a live stream, by the way. That was just, I still have stream notifications enabled. But congratulations, you have made it onto a video. Right, hello, Ragamuffin. Right, I think what we're going to try and do is kill enough stuff to get this threat of attack maxed out. Because I would absolutely love it if launch day we can get a nice fight with them. Take all. Stop giving them my stuff. Uh, we might have killed everything here. I really need to be more systematic. I've just run in a massive loop around the location. So, yeah, here we go. Ooh, a bear. That'll be good. Bears are pretty brutal. They do a lot of damage to you. And unfortunately, they also don't increase our... Um, bandit meter thing. I'm not sure what to call this. Does it have a name? Big Box. That's obviously not its name. Bandit's Anger. There we go. So we're trying to increase our bandits' anger as much as possible. Get dead. I think goons are probably going to be the best way to go for increasing it because they are essentially the hardest enemy in the game. Oh, here we go. We'll find out in a second. Oh, he is not nice to fight when I haven't got any armor on. Oh, he just killed that bandit. Oh, we are almost dead. There we go. Okay, so yeah, killing one goon. Hit it up about as much as all of the other enemies combined. So yeah, they are definitely the way to go. Yeah, see that didn't really make much of a visible effect on it there. I've got anything on me I could drink. Those I'll have to do for now. Here we go. Alright, so just keep doing your special attack, please. Boom. There we go. That's nice. Ooh. I think, did we just level up? No, we didn't. Okay. Right, I think what I'll do is throw you all a nice little time lapse here whilst I try and find some water. Please. No, just going to have to grab some berries and try not to die. Right, hope you all enjoy this time lapse of me killing things. I'm sure I will too. We're now over at the train location. I probably didn't do a time lapse there just because I only found about four more enemies to kill. Over here, we're going to try and kill things here and hopefully, yeah, everything here it looks like is going to be, yeah, perfect. So there's loads of enemies here. So if you're trying to increase your bandit's anger quickly, then this is the place to go to. If you can, of course. The train, I think you can only visit twice. Welcome back everybody. I've been doing a bit of murdering and reorganizing the boxes. Oh, that was close. Reorganizing the boxes at my base. And now everything is at least inside one layer of stone walls. Now I would really rather fight goons, not bears. If at all possible, please game. Is this gonna be another bear down here? No, it's a wolf. Come on, I just need literally about one or two more enemies. Come on, not coyotes. These things are not helping. There we go. So, killing this goon here will 
definitely complete this for us. Oh, that hurt. That hurt as well. I lied to you. I said it will definitely. There is a tiny sliver left. So we just need yeah, one or two more enemies. Let's see what this is down here. A single ragamuffin. Ragamuffin. Not enough. Hey, tramp. Come on, let the tramp do it. No, it's still not quite there. Oh, yep, yeah, this will definitely do it for us. Alright, let's just kill this goon. Now, what I... I'm just excited to find out how this is going to work because I've got absolutely no idea how this will all go. Right. I think that's maxed out. We'll kill a couple more things just to make sure. Doesn't look like anything else is happening. There we go. It's on fire. You have in incurred the... Bandit's anger. An armed group has advanced to your ranch. Okay, let's get home. Let's get home very fast. And probably change into some fresh armor if we're going to be fighting. Let's see what happens. We're going to finally get our own back on the bandits that attacked us and forced us out here in the first place. Left us naked in the desert. So, attack in. <laughs> attack in 6 hours 51 minutes. So basically, they will attack us in seven hours. It is currently ten to seven, so they will attack at two in the morning for me. Awesome. Right. That gives me seven hours to prepare. I will see you all at two in the morning. Welcome back, people. It is now twenty to two in the morning, and the bandits should be turning up any second to attack our ranch. Now, if we take a look at some of the upgrades I've made, we've got this ring of barbed wire. It doesn't go all the way around, but it goes a decent amount. So that goes all the way around there. And then round this side, we've got the iron spikes on the floor, and they head round to about there. So we could have defended a lot more, but I couldn't, for the life of me, find wires. I spent about three hours going back and forth between zones, and I think in total I got about 21 wires, which if you consider barbed wire takes 12 to make, and the stakes take 5, that's quite a lot. No, that's quite a lot, that's not a lot. Right, now it looks to me like the bandits aren't going to attack whilst we're here. Hmm. So what I think we might have to do is go out onto the global map and then come back in and see what happens. So let's give that a go. So my throat is also really dry at the moment. On the tail end of having been ill for a week and I'm at the point where I can't tell if it's about to get worse or not again. Hoping it doesn't, because I hate having a sore throat. It's one of the worst things, because I like talking, believe it or not. Under attack. One hour, 58 minutes. Okay. Here we go. We have got thugs attacking us. Let's kill the thugs. At the very least, we're going to get some hatchets from them. Oh, that was it. Okay, so something did pop up very briefly there. I will take a look at it whilst editing and say something about it. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Bandit stash coordinates. Let's read that. You have found the location of Bandit's loot stash. It is probably unguarded. That is what we like to hear. Right, so we just got a load of almost broken armor. I do not know where to put most of it. You know what? Let's put some of it on. Uh, that should do. That's a little bit better. Right. I'm going to gather up a bunch of hatchets, both stone and normal. And then we'll head over there. Here we are. Do you know the coordinates of Bandit's loot stash? It is probably unguarded. Show me. Here we go. Bandit's stash. Let's just ride straight over there. So that looks to be the same as the... Oh, I can't remember the name of that event. 
No, I cannot remember the name of me. So I've had an event before that looked a little bit like that. Possibly exactly the same, but I can't remember. Don't forget to receive your award from the Sheriff's Deputy. Ah, oh, that's a good point. I can start a new bounty hunt. Probably wait till... When have I got a day off work? Thursday. So I'm recording this Monday night. Technically Tuesday now, because it is, yeah, two in the morning almost. Right then. Can we load in, please? Thank you, game. Alright then. So this is the bandit stash. The location we get for being attacked. So it looks like a horse just pelted it through the entire location. <gasps> they said it would be unguarded. There was a single watchman. Alright. So, okay, good. We're not going to need to break open the boxes. That does... Ooh. That is some nice stuff. That's a free... That's two full durability guns there. Armor set. You know what? I am very happy with this. I'm gonna take a look around. We're gonna need to open up everything here before we can decide what it is we're taking with us. I'm guessing the best loot is gonna be in the house. Another gun. Okay. And we got, there's one oak tree here. Two oak trees. Okay, so when you go here, you're definitely going to want to bring your hatchet so you can break these oak trees. Because there's quite a few here as well. More wires. That's excellent. So yeah, I am honestly happy if we just leave this with a load of wire. That will be perfect for me. I think this is the last box of their stash. Probably... However, we have got all these oak trees to break down. The oak trees in this look so cool. There we go. So, in Westland, one oak log turns into one oak plank. So, all the trees from here are almost enough to give you just straight up one wall. And considering there's literally one enemy here that had, what, I think 100 health? That is very nice. Let's take a look around, make sure there's no other oak trees here. And then we'll grab the rest of the loot. Ah, I think that's going to be everything. Oh, no, I was wrong. So yeah, you can get what looks to be 12 oak from this one location. Perfect. Now, are there any more at all? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's give our horsey... You can take that, you can take that, you can keep my wires safe for me. And you know what? You can have some alcohol too. You're a good alcoholic horse. Stick them in there. Right, let's go back and grab the other bits. I'm actually really happy with this. It's going to be interesting to see if the loot changes each time we come here. Personally, I think it probably will. And the higher the difficulty of wave that attacks you, the better loot we're going to be getting from coming to here as well. At least that's what makes sense to me. Can't imagine it not being like that. Let's open this up. Uh, no, we don't really want any of that. And then there's the funnel box here. Take a couple seeds. You know, might as well grab those bits. Alright, I think I am going to end off the video here. Quick circuit up here to see if there's an oak tree. Doesn't look like it. Nah, there isn't. Alright, I'm going to end off the video. It's 2 in the morning. I'm going to bed. Hope you all enjoyed the new update, people, and are looking forward to trying this out yourselves. Let me know if you complete more of the bandit attacks than me, and then if the what is it, the bandit stash changes and gives you better loot. That base also looks pretty cool. It's a bit of a mess. They could have tidied it up a little bit, but they are bandits, so what do you expect? Alright, thanks for watching, people. Goodbye.